It's a matter of time Dark skies and howling winds The sun is coming gone Wood stands will surely fall Chaos is coming Chaos is coming down It's gonna Okay, so the drone is right up there. And there's a bunch of birds that keep flying around here. I don't know if they're hawks. They don't look like eagles, so I think we're good, but. There's definitely a lot of yellow colors um, today. I see some reds and oranges every now and then, but for the most part, from what I can see from the drone, there's a lot of yellow trees. So I wasn't planning on using two batteries at this first spot, but it turned out that I needed to, because I had to get a few more shots, a few videos. So when I shoot my drone photos, I try to add something in the photo where it's not just like um, playing. Like, I don't want it to just be a bunch of trees. And I try to add something like a, maybe a road in it, or a railroad, or even if you have a subject, another person you could take a photo of. Um, just add add um, character to the photo, almost. Chaos is coming. It's gonna So from the last spot, I uh, took the drone out and took some photos right before the sunset. What you'll see in the video, you kind of see me, how I frame my photos, um, how I frame the landscape. Uh, I add a little bit, I'm shooting on water, so I add a little bit of foreground into it. And then I also shoot into the light. So something that I also switch up a lot is centering my subject in photos and off-centering my subject in photos. Um, you'll see me. I took a few photos where I used myself as a subject and I had it center and then there's a few photos where I'm kind of off center. Another tip I use when I take drone photos is I try to shoot a few different photos from different heights and different distances from my subject or my landscape that I'm taking a photo of. Um, just, just to kind of get a different perspective, different feel of what you want in your final photo. But yeah, I'll let the video play out and um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it.